In this video recording, I will go through an example of determining the resultant of two forces. The method that I'll use is uh, the addition of scalar components. The first step will be to find the component of the force F1 in the X direction. Because we have um, a right angle triangle here, we know that the uh, magnitude of this uh, scalar component here will be uh, F1 cos 30 degrees, which is 47.63 newtons. And then next we'll find the Y component. So the Y component is directed along here in the y direction and we know the magnitude of that uh, component because again we have a right angle triangle here so the magnitude of that scalar component in the y direction will be F1 times sine 30 degrees. We also note that this is in the negative direction so we have minus 27.5 newtons for the y component of the force F1. So if we now do a similar process for uh, the force F2, so extending uh, the x-axis in the negative direction and then drawing our line uh, parallel to the y-axis uh, at the tip of F2, we get our x component F2x here. Um, so this, in this case we've got the angle defined uh, relative to the y-axis. So in this case the x component will be um, F2, which is 40 newtons, times sine of this angle here. Okay, so we have in the minus x direction 40 sine 50, uh, which is minus 30.64 newtons. So now we find uh, the Y component and again draw a line uh, at the tip of F2 in the X direction and that gives us our uh, magnitude of the Y component of F2 and again using trig uh, we can calculate what that uh, value is. Okay, So in this case because we've got the angle defined between the resultant and the y-axis, uh, the length of this line here, or this side of the right angle triangle, will be F2 cos 50, okay, which gives us 25.71. So now to find the resultant in uh, the x-direction, we just simply add up the scalar components in the x-direction, so F1x plus F2x equals... 16.99, um, so 47.63 minus 30.64. And in the y direction, we'll have uh, the resultant component in the y direction, FRY equals F1Y plus F2Y, which is the sum of the two components in the y direction. So here we have minus 27.5 plus 25.71 gives us minus 1.79 newtons in the y direction. So now we need to combine those two um, components in the x and y directions to find the total resultant force. So combining our two vectors, our two scalar components, FRx and FRy, we get the resultant FR. So again, uh, we just need to use Trig and Pythagoras theorem uh, to work out the magnitude of that resultant force. So using Pythagoras theorem we know that um, FR squared will be equal to FRx squared plus FRy squared so our resultant FR will just be the square root of uh, the sum of the um, side squared so we get our total resultant force of 17.08 newtons. So then the next step is to find the angle theta. 
uh, that the resultant force acts. So from trigonometry, we know that uh, this angle in here will be equal to the uh, inverse tan of the opposite over adjacent. Uh, so we have the opposite here is FRY and the adjacent is FRX. Uh, so we can do the calculations there. Uh, so I've written it as tan to the minus 1. Some of you might know it as A tan. Um, and some calculators will have that. So we do the calculation and get 6.014 degrees. So now we can summarise that and uh, round up to three significant figures. So our resultant force is 17.1 newtons and it acts at an angle of 6.01 degrees clockwise from the x-axis. If we wish to use uh, the Cartesian vector notation uh, instead, we can do that. And we'll have the equation, uh, the vector f resultant is equal to fx uh, times the unit vector i plus fy times the unit vector j. So in the example that we've just looked at, um, our resultant vector r, fr, is equal to the sum of the x components times the unit vector i plus the sum of the y components times the unit vector j. And if we just bring back uh, the values that we calculated previously, then we have fr equals 47.63 minus 30.64 times the unit vector i plus uh, minus 27.5 plus 25.71 times the unit vector j gives us our, our resultant vector fr equals 17.0 times the unit vector i minus 1.79 times the unit vector j.